Welcome back to the channel. Let's go! Hello, welcome to another video on the channel. It's Ghost Revex, aka Ghost. Today we're using the Bless ballistic i don't know it's a weapon this is for my subscribe she's like yo side can you show me how to work this weapon so here you go basically this is a medium version of the trebuchet right you have 1100 meters that you can fire so pretty much cover the entire map but as you can see the one thing that you can do is you can fire pretty quickly so this is a very very dangerous sniper especially on this bot this bot does quite a bit of damage now I am firing against another Spectre. Of course, you know, the Spectre doesn't have a lot of armor as is. So when if this weapon, as you can see, I almost took the Spectre out. So this definitely could be a counter to the Spectre, but you need the range. So on a smaller map, you could do it, but they might get close enough to you too quickly before you can do damage. So if somebody, if a Spectre hits you with like all oh, Orkins, you're gone. This weapon, as you can see, it's doing a nice amount of damage, but also later on in this match, you're gonna see us, we're gonna hit a, a heavy, a griffin, and we're gonna hit a raven. Now, I don't know if the raven has more armor or less armor than the griffin. It may have less. I noticed they tend to do that. They kind of give it less armor because it can jump more, but you know, we get to see this against a heavy, which is a griffin, and it does quite a bit of damage, and it's on a bot that's fairly mobile. So if you're using this weapon and you have it on a Spectre or uh, what else would be able to run this? The Hashi could run it. You know, I would say definitely three. I probably wouldn't run two. Now, if you run two like on a Natasha or something like that, you definitely want to have like a Gecko or I guess the Alabast weapon. I guess that's how you say it. You probably run that with it in combination because it has those two light points and be able to do damage. But it's basically a sniper weapon you do want to let it charge all the way up but you don't have to like I say it works just like a trebuchet here I try to get them you know when you're moving behind cover sometimes the other player will start to move out because they figure you're moving behind cover so my goal was to jump back and try and take them out but good move on nightmare they didn't move that way so here we're just trying to catch them peeking around the corner try and get a shot in didn't work out and as you can see, the recharge is fairly quick on this, right? So with this weapon and this bot, your stealth is always like always up just about. And I mean, five seconds looks like the recharge. So you can see the amount of damage it does and how quickly you can fire. So you can, you can do a, quite a bit of damage. I would say you probably use it more in probably like team, not you probably do team deathmatch. You probably do domination and you might you might do king of the hill i doubt it but beacon rush you probably can do it as well but maps like this wide open maps canyon yamantau no, Yam, i call it yamantau those would be the ones you want to actually use this on but technically with this bot you can use it on any map you just have to really pick and choose because as you can see i'm not now this we got them okay so if they're low health, you can take them out. So this could be an advantage over a Scourge or something like that, possibly because you're gonna be able to do maximum damage when you fire. So if you hit somebody right when they're about to die with this weapon and somebody has a Scourge or something else on them, you're gonna be doing more damage in most cases. Now, if it's Orkins, you may not, it just depends. And that's how people can get a steal on you. They start firing right as you're, like your weapons are getting weaker they start firing their weapons are gonna be a lot stronger than yours when they start firing so that's the whole point of this weapon you want to keep the enemy at distance you don't want to be close range this is definitely long range this is long long range okay this is hey i need to call you from the other side of the world weapon right now if i had this i'd be in trouble because you know i love running trips so this would be my my i would say the meta for this meta as you see, I still got that shot in on them, right? So if you use this weapon, you just want to look for moments of opportunity. Uh, there's going to be a few things, like when you see a jumping bot, if it doesn't have stealth, here we go, they jump, we're going to get a shot in right about there. 
See, we're hitting them, okay? So we didn't get a full salvo, but it one of those hit them, okay? So we're just doing damage, just nicking them here and there. Now, I think that's a griffin. So when we get a clean shot, you're going to get to see how much damage this does. Now, this means everything's even, though, okay? So these weapons, this is the actual Hangar X. So I don't know what level the weapons are, but I probably could go check, but I didn't check, right? <laughs> but the point is everything is even so if we're on a level playing field this type of damage you can look at if you're strong look at that now that was that was a full hit on a griffin now if these were like mk2 and the griffin was regular that griffin be almost dead right now so that just gives you an idea this is very strong weapons though if you need a long range weapon setup these to me would be a very good setup the spectre would be the best because it can hold four you could also try a dock. A dock can hold 40s as well. You could actually run a Hashi or something like that that actually runs three of them. But that extra, that fourth weapon makes a big difference. It just, you know, it just does. You can see how much damage you're putting out. But, like I say, you don't want to be close range. You want to use the, the, mo the mobility of the bot that you have to your advantage. If you got like a, um, yeah, that's about, I don't think what else we have. The Griffin can run it, right? The Griffin can run two of these and probably run the Alabast with it or Geckos. What else we got out there that's 1100 or so? I think that's about it. <laughs> I think that, oh, the, no, the Flux is a heavy weapon, so you can run that. You'd have to run that, yeah, the Flux is a heavy weapon. So you can do a Lance too. You can run a Lance with maybe a Flux in these or run it with a Trib in these. But like I say, uh, you know, you need. I would say you need a platform that's mobile. Like the Fury's pretty mobile, but in the new meta, these bots can move a lot quicker. And the Fury, you know, you need something like mo. That's why people run the Dragoon because you can fire bots pretty good with it and do quite a bit of damage. Three of them. Uh, now you got the Exodus. They had that on sale. I hope you guys caught it. Had it for twenty three bucks. You get two of them for twenty three bucks. So. I got a little toy in the backfield. If you watch my videos, you might have found out what it was, but uh, I got me a toy. <laughs> i just put it like that. Got me a toy, people. Now, I don't know how effective it's going to be, but as you can see, this weapon is, man, this weapon does a lot, at least on this setup, right? We got four. This is the maximum amount. And like I said, you can go get you a dock, and the dock moves pretty good. Now, you don't get the stealth. That's the only thing. So with the dock, you probably play it from a standpoint of firing and not like this one. You'd be able to play something like this. I got a bot that can't fire at me too quickly so I can move out, look for them to move out and hit them. Whereas if you have a bot that can fire at you, you have to try and hopefully wait for them to get distracted and then attack because you don't want to get hit. Now the dock's going to have a lot more armor than this Spectre, but you have to check that out. But this Spectre... You know, you got stealth, so you can kind of play that. But at the same time, you want to be smart about using your stealth. You want to just jump out in the open, you know, and know your stealth's there, and then forget to move back behind cover. So here we go, trying to take them out. Let's see if they move up. Now, I'm just going to back up. Like I told you, you always want to use the distance to your advantage. And they have health, so they, think about that. My health is low, but their health is lower than that already, just for me taking those couple of shots on them before they got, you know, anywhere near me. And here we go. I don't know what they have, so I want to do this, right? I want to give them a shot to take me out because my health is low. So that allowed me to do damage to them and stay stealth and keep myself safe. So now we're moving up on the last bot. I think this is a Raven. Yeah, that's a Raven. You see the double jump? Watch the damage on it. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Now we're charging up again. Try to look for those opportunities when they're out in the open. All right, so some of that, all of it didn't hit them that time. Some of it scraped the ground. But as you can see, we got them almost to have health with two shots. Weapons almost charged, hit them again. Oh, now that one was major. And that wasn't even fully charged. So I believe the Raven has less armor than the, than the Griffin. But just understand, man, these weapons are savage. Boom. These weapons, so... If you know what you're doing, you're going to make somebody mad. If you're playing a certain certain situation, I don't know how well it'll do a free-for-all. It could do well, 
until people figure out you got it. But at the same time, on this bot, it could be a problem because it's going to be, you're going to have more range than a, than the a Scourge does. The only bot you probably have a lot of trouble with would be the Bogasari because it's got that, that shield. So you could try and fake them out, fire one, and then if they turn towards you, hit them again. But if they're an experienced player, they're going to try and dash at you as long as they can with their shield facing you. And then when they get close enough, they're going to try and hit you. But in free for all, there's so many other people that could be tracking and locking them down to be a problem. So anyway, that's it. Any questions, let me know. You can see the recharge, see how much damage it was doing. It's a pretty good weapon. It's a pretty good weapon, man. Definitely will replace the tray up to me in my sight. Because you can put it on a mobile bot. So, anyway, enjoy this video. Slap that like button. Want to see more videos like this? Subscribe. Bell notification so you don't miss the next video. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment if you enjoyed this video. And as always, choose like over death.